as business owners, we always think ahead. We always think in the future. Where I'm going to say quite a lot of employees when they buy their own home or even potentially buy an investment property, it's a set and forget. Right, I'm with my bank and until, to your point, I see an ad on TV, I'm not going to change. <laughs> Where as business owners, it's like, no, no, how can we stack the decks in our favor, right? And I, I love that because it's not, it's not like AltDoc is going to help us today, but it might not be the long term. And so, one of the questions I want to ask about is how should business owners be thinking about lending? I think that point is just so powerful and think of lending to help with a long-term vision, Right, but it doesn't mean you're going to have to have that one component of lending for 30 years. What other things should they be really thinking about when they when it comes to lending that can relate to the back to their business, for example? So that they they have to have the clear set goals of what they want to do, um, because as to the point with alt doc lending, we we usually uh, I personally want a reason why we're doing it. Um, it could be the social reason: need to move house, need to buy a house asap. Just do what you can. Or contractually, I need to do something. Um, but to, to, to the point, what are they? It, I go down the line of the repayment. If we're going to go into old doc and someone says, are you going to be in double digits in the interest rate? Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's what's going to come out of your bank account that's going to be the nuts and bolts of the whole thing. Um, just as you look as a, a business owner into your cash flows in your own business, um, you've got to look at your cash flows in your personal life as well. And it, it's, we've got to get away from 100% focus on the interest rate. I know the TV, as you said, throws the interest rate over all the time. It's good, good selling point, Aaron. It's a great attractive selling point for people to understand though, isn't it? It's like it good is. marketing, not necessarily great I mean, business. <laughs> well, there, there's all this com- conversation now around is interest rates going to change upwards, downwards, wherever it's going to go. And back in my day, it was like a bajillion percent interest rate. But the lending amount was low. Yep. Now, the low rate and a high lending could have the same net effect. So, I think the argument's mute. It's, it's all about what our goals are going to be for our, our, our business, our return on investment. Like, if you take a, a professional that you want to create wealth and you want to pay half a million dollars a month to them, you're going to expect two million back a month. So, it's not, it's not the dollar... Um, it's it's the return on investment, I suppose. And we look at return on investment, we look at cash flows, and we look at negotiations in our businesses all the time. So why can't we have a little bit of that knowledge and skill base that we have in business onto our lending? And if if we're going to look at an opportunity and we'll pick on a property, we'll look at an opportunity on a property and it's going to make us six and a half, nine percent back or or five percent back, we can make some judgment calls on where the where the rate needs to be, what the repayments are going to be. The, the um, predict on the costs to operate the property. Do they need to repair all that stuff? We we do it in our business. Why don't we do it in our our, our property investment? So it, it's not necessarily the the product, the rate. It's it, I'm what's the cliche? It's the journey. Um, we don't have to stay in these high cost products, and we don't have to feel like we're the poor substitute cousin to the payg or the employee. We actually have an advantage that we can get access to money that does cost a bit of money, but we're going to make a bit of money because we take in our business acumen and throw it into our wealth creation. Completely. And I do want to bring in one point here. Up until this point, I haven't had to use any old doc lending and Aaron may be correct. correct. So it's like we are merely suggesting in this conversation that this is one of the advantages and difference, but by no means do I want to uh, have it interpreted that, all right, that's how you do it if you're a business owner. You don't do any normal loans. You do all this old stuff and that's our ticket to winning. It might be for some people, I will say, but I doubt it will be for all people. In my own personal case, um, I've been able to, once getting my finance organised with Aaron particularly here, is just being able to use the normal big four banks. I haven't even have to skew into any of the second tier or third tier lenders to this point, although we'll see, right? Um, the next thing I, I just wanted to come in on here quickly is it's it's fascinating to me that how my thinking's changed around lending. Like I really used to think about this when I was early on is like I need to make myself look safe and secure like an employee so the banks will give me money. Like my interpretation was that to do well with lending, 
you know, hey, you've got to try and be as much like an employee or as secure as employee, where it's just not true in the thinking, where it's like I very much approach it. Big thank you to Aaron for helping me with this, of like there are ways to look at, well, all right, this is where I'm trying to go. Okay, this is my wealth goal, which I know we've covered in another episode. And then I suppose reverse engineer at what it needs to look like from a business perspective. Hey, fellow business owner, if this topic and value-packed short video has resonated with you at all and you want to dive deeper into wealth creation, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the post right now.